Our piccolo playing band director from St. Louis is back after pulling off another big win in yesterday's game. I have to imagine with over $50,000 in earnings, Emily can now afford to buy whatever new musical instruments she chooses. As we prepare to wrap up the week, we welcome Christopher and Anmol to the Alex Trebek stage. Let's get right into the Jeopardy round with these categories. All my visual references are organized and archived in Dropbox. My name is Dennis Trump. U.S. places, everybody. Musicians' real names. Let's talk about Bite Club. Four, four. Each response is made up of two four-letter words. And ice cream novelties. Emily, you'll select first. Um, musicians, 200. Alicia Moore, this colorful Get the Party Started star. Emily. Who is pink. Yes. Musicians, 400. Montero Lamar Hill, this rapper who later added an X to the end of his new stage name. Christopher. Who is Little Nas X. Yes. U.S. places, everybody, 200. This Oklahoma town was named for U.S. Representative Wesley, not Animation King Walt. Christopher. What is Disney? Yes. Places, 400. There's a reindeer barn at Santa's workshop in this appropriately named New York hamlet, not far from Lake Placid. Emily. What is North Pole? Yes. Uh, musicians, 600. Stephanie Germanata, this member of pop rock nobility. Anmol. Who is Gwen Stefani? No. Christopher. Who is Lady Gaga? That's her. Place is 600. I like Big Butt Trail, and I cannot lie, you other brothers can't deny it's fun to hike it near Asheville in this state. Emily. What is North Carolina? Yes. Um, places, 800. Self-styled as West Virginia's first town, it dates to 1762 and shares its name with a 2012 presidential nominee. Romney. Emily. Um, places, 1,000. Alabama, that's a town in New York State centrally located between Rochester and this seat of Erie County. Christopher. What is Buffalo? Yes. Ice cream 200. There's plain this flavor, the epitome of plain, as well as French this and this bean. Emily. What is vanilla? Yes. Ice cream 4. In 2020, this brand of ice cream bars celebrated 100 years of putting everyone into a better mood. Emily. What is good humor? That's right. Ice cream for six. McDonald's has the McFlurry and Dairy Queen has this signature treat blended with cookies or candies. Anmol. What is a blizzard? Yes. Musicians Reels named for 800. Declan McManus, this new wave star who took the name of an old school legend. Christopher. Who is Elvis Costello? Yes. Ice cream 800. The logo of this ice cream brand includes rabbit ears and a tail on the letter B. Emily. What is Blue Bunny? Correct. Uh, musicians for a thousand. John Mellor, this clash man, a name that reflected his not flashy guitar style. Christopher. Who is John Mellencamp? No. Anmol. Who is Joe Strummer? That's him. Uh, four, four for 200, please. A service branch is in the name of this dark color. Emily. What is Navy Blue? That's correct. We'll take a commercial break and be back with more Jeopardy right after this. Let's get to know our contestants. Anmol Sinho, a tech salesperson from San Diego, California. What was your boss's reaction when you told him you were chosen to be on Jeopardy? Well, most bosses would want to, you know, figure out schedules and workloads, but my boss immediately said, wait, don't tell me anything, because he watches Jeopardy religiously, and he didn't want to know when I'm going to be on or how I do. So I hope you're watching, Josh. <laughs> yes, hello, Josh. Christopher Arns, a teacher from Fair Oaks, California. You can trace your family tree pretty far back, right? Yeah, that's right. Back, back to Charlemagne and, and actually beyond, yeah. Wow, that is very far back. <laughs> yeah, yes. You know, actually, my grandfather did quite a lot of genealogical work, and then um, he's passed on, but he left a good legacy, and I kind of, I took it back and 
and uh, was able to do that research. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. That's really awesome. And Emily Fiasco, a returning champ from St. Louis, Missouri, a middle school band director. Have you thought about what you might do with your earnings? Well, my um, now four-year-old sure has an idea. Um, like all toddlers with, you know, uh, access to the streaming services, he is obsessed with Bluey, which is a show about these cartoon dog sisters, and it's set in Australia. Are uh, we going to Australia? He really wants to go to Australia to meet Bluey. I was very, very noncommittal when this was asked, so we'll see. <laughs> okay, back to the game. Emily, your selection. Um, four, 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 four. Want to get to the bottom of an issue? Take one of these, no scuba gear necessary. Christopher. What is a deep dive? Yes. Novelties 200. Huck Finn was introduced in this novel. Christopher. What is The Adventures of Tom Sawyer? That's correct. Uh, T's 400. Stephanie Meyer said the idea for this first novel came to her in a dream. Emily. What is Twilight? Yes. Novelties 6. There is a daily double. You're in the lead with 3,200. What are you going to wager? 2,000. Here's your clue. The nameless narrator of this, H.G. Wells' first novel, finds himself in the year 802,701. What is the time machine? That's right, Emily. You have 5,200. Select again. Novelty is eight. Jim Hawkins is the boy hero and narrator of this novel. Christopher. What is Treasure Island? That's it. Novelties a thousand. This novel by F. Scott Fitzgerald tells of the troubled marriage of Dick and Nicole Diver. Anmol. What is the Jazz Age? No. Tender is the night. Christopher. Ice cream a thousand. A teen named Lena is in Tuscany for the summer in Jenna Evans Welch's novel called Love and This Italian Ice Cream. Christopher. What is gelato? Yes. Let's talk about Bite Club 200. That first attempt didn't go well, and you know the proverbial saying, once bitten, this. Emily. What is twice shy? Correct. Bite Club 4. Sofonispa Anguissola, called the greatest woman artist of this era, sent Michelangelo her drawing of a boy who's been bitten. Anmal. What is the Renaissance? That's right. 4-4 four, four for 600? This term for Maine is also the name of a magazine about that state. It's called Down East. Anmal. 4-4 four, four for 8? It can be a transfer of a lot of information between two computer networks. That's a data dump. Anmal. 4-4 four, four for 1,000? Before it was a London street or a cigarette brand, it was a British game as seen in the Bridgerton books and series. Select again. Let's talk about Bite Club for six. Having taken a bite out of crime for decades, this crime dog updated his PSA beat to include senior fraud and identity theft. Emily. Who is McGruff? Yes. 800? This clear brand that offers Vivera retainers aims to proactively fix class two malocclusions in tweens and teens. Christopher. What is Invisalign? Yes, and here's the final clue. This black snake of Africa is actually gray or brown, and one bite can kill you in 20 minutes. Emily. What is an adder? No. Anmol. What is an anaconda? No. That is a black mamba. Brings us to the end of the Jeopardy round. It's time for double Jeopardy. Anmol, you'll select first. We'll be back right after this. Let's go with Ovid for 400. 